लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन गुड डे एंड वेलकम टू द इंडियन रेलवे केटरिंग एंड टूरिज्म कॉर्पोरेशन लिमिटेड कॉन्फ्रेंस कॉल होस्टेड बाय डॉलर कैपिटल एज अ रिमाइंडर ऑल पार्टिसिपेंट लाइन्स विल बी इन द लेसन ओनली मोड एंड देयर विल बी एन अपॉर्चुनिटी फॉर यू टू आस्क क्वेश्चंस आफ्टर द प्रेजेंटेशन कंक्लूड्स शुड यू नीड असिस्टेंस ड्यूरिंग द कॉन्फ्रेंस कॉल प्लीज सिग्नल एन ऑपरेटर बाय प्रेसिंग स्टार देन जीरो ऑन योर टच टोन फोन प्लीज नोट दैट दिस कॉन्फ्रेंस इज बीइंग रिकॉर्डेड I now hand the conference over to Mr. Rahul Jain from Dollar Capital. Thank you, and over to you, sir. Thank you. Uh, good morning, everyone. On behalf of Dollar Capital, we welcome you all to the Q1 FY25 conference call of IRCTC Limited, and I take this opportunity to welcome the management of IRCTC, represented by Mr. Sanjay Kumar Jain, who is CMD of the company, and is also. Uh, he also have along with his other uh, director of uh, respective department uh, over to you sanjay ji for take to, taking the proceeding ahead thanks rahul good morning everyone and a warm welcome to irctc earning call for the quarter ended june 30 2024 at the outset i am pleased to share with you all that your company has been upgraded from schedule b to schedule a company by government of india based on our past performance it will strengthen our organizational structure and is a precondition for taking up company to a new level that is from mini ratna to navratna yesterday the company has announced its financial results for the first quarter of 2025 and the results has been disclosed in both stock exchanges i will begin with the brief overview of our q125 performance following which our director of finance and cfo of this company will provide a detailed analysis of our business segment performance afterward we'll open the floor for the question answer session i am pleased to report that q1 fy25 has been another exceptional quarter for our company with an all time high profit of 308 crore this represents a growth of 8.2% on q on q basis and a significant increase of 32.5% year on year basis the catering and rail need segments were the primary drivers in q to q comparison wherein the profit increased by 68% and 27% respectively in catering and rail need segment this performance underscores the strength and potential of the business areas similarly on y to y basis the bottom line of all the segment except tourism has grown uniformly our ebitda for the quarter also reached up to 375 crore marking a 9.32% uh, growth year on year basis and an approximately 3.38% on q to q basis evita margin has improved to 33.47% up from 31.41% on q to q basis and that is on year on year basis highlighting our operational efficiency and effective cost management overall these results underscore our company's strong performance and resilience we are committed to continuing this positive momentum and delivering sustained growth and profitability in the coming quarters with that i conclude my opening remarks and hand over the call to our director of finance and CFO Sri Ajit Kumar to provide further insight into the financial and segmental performance 
of the company. Thank you very much. Good afternoon, everyone. I hope you and your loved ones are in good health. I'll begin with a brief overview of our quarterly performance, comparing it to the previous quarters, followed by our question and answer session. The quarterly performance, the Q1 FY25. We have achieved another quarter of robust growth with a profit of rupees 307 crores, deflecting an 8.2% quarter over quarter and 32.5% year on year increase. This growth was primarily driven by our capturing segment, which, despite the relatively lower margins, made a significant contribution to our, our overall revenue. Now, the business segment highlights. The first segment, internet ticketing. The internet, internet ticketing segment continued to demonstrate resilience, especially with the transition of reserved 2S tickets back to unreserved tickets. In spite of the fact that we are nearing saturation with almost 84% of tickets now being booked through our portal, and we understand that there is a, a very I mean, incremental increase will be there, but still we, can, we want to continue with the, the same revenue growth. The segment reported revenue of Rs. 329 crore, reflecting a 13.4% year-over-year growth with a slight quarter-over-quarter -quarter decline of 3.9% attributed to the typical seasonal peak in quarter four when tickets are booked in advance for the upcoming summer season. Additionally, advertisement income from sources other than Google and Facebook categorized as part of other non-conventional income decreased by rupees 12 crore compared to the last quarter. In spite of that, the EBITDA margin remained robust at 82.76% compared to 82.73% quarter over quarter and 80.34% year over year, underscoring our strong market position as well as operation efficiency. The next segment catering, the, our catering segment maintained the strong growth momentum with revenue rising to 559 crore an increase of 5.3% quarter-over-quarter and 17.1% year-over-year. While the beta margin moderated to 13.94% compared to 8.75% quarter-over-quarter and 14.61% year-over-year. This segment's revenue growth underscores the increasing demand and our ability to scale the operations effectively now next, tourism. The tourism segment saw a decrease of 38.1% quarter over quarter and 12.4% year over year with a revenue of Rs. 124.8 crore in Q1 FI25. This subdued performance is due to the non-operation of state research trains and Bharat Gaurav trains in quarter 1, primarily due to the general parliamentary elections in April and May 24. Despite this, the segment remains resilient and shows potential for future growth, for which we are taking a suitable steps. Railneer. This reported steady revenue of Rs. 107 crores, marking a 34.4% quarter-over-quarter and 16.5% year-over-year growth. The beta margin remained stable at 12.1% compared to 12.84% quarter-over-quarter and 12.65% year over year. Notably, our absolute EBITDA increased by 27.4% quarter over quarter and 11.9% year over year, showcasing our efforts to enhance profitability by expanding our capacity utilization as well as adding the new capacity. Now, the overall, our Q1 FR25 results highlight a successful quarter of growth and a strategic execution. We remain committed to building on this momentum and delivering sustained value to our stakeholders. At the end of FI24, the company's cash and bank balances stood at Rs. 2,908 crores with a net worth of Rs. 3,538 crores. 
this concludes my remarks now we can straight away move to the question and answer session thank you thank you very much we will now begin the question and answer session anyone who wishes to ask a question may press star and one on the touch tone phone if you wish to remove yourself from the question queue you may press star and two participants are requested to use handsets while asking a question we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles the first question is from the line of deepak from sundaram mutual fund please go ahead yeah thank you so i have couple of questions uh, regarding your uh, catering segment so sir as per your annual report you know the income from your premium trains uh, duranto and etc stood at you know 1000 uh, crore and uh, you mentioned in the annual report that in fy24 you serviced around 51 mande bharat train so sir, out of this 1000 crore how much would be the revenue generated from mande bharat train and uh, in fy24 roughly 12% okay uh, so in continuation to that so fy24 we ended our catering ebitda margin at around 13 to 14% now would the vande bharat uh, ebitda margin would it be similar or would it be let's say uh, 200 to 300 basis point higher than your overall margin you see so far a premium segment is concerned uh, we have already introduced our um, uh, cluster system as i told last time and uh, this is giving confidence to our licensees to uh, share more revenue with us uh, because it's a long term contract being given to them and a couple of uh, clusters we have already finalized and uh, some of the clusters we have already optimized so generally it should be on the same range but uh, uh, in the time to come more and more vande bharat trains are coming so uh, premium trains are certainly giving us a better revenue than the uh, non premium trains so i am very hopeful of uh, getting uh, um, uh, more and more um, uh, percentage of revenue uh, while the number of trains uh, of prepaid trains increase okay so sir then margin should also see even improvement right with this premium train revenue getting added actually uh, you see if you see our this segment then mail express and the prepaid train there are two kinds of trains so here in the prepaid trains you have an assured business but the tag is your meal charges are already prefixed that is an administered price so if you see the Uh, percentage wise per meal charge it will never increase but overall the more number of pre- premium trains or prepaid trains are introduced our volume and revenue and profit will increase in absolute term thanks okay and so second uh, question would be so you have also mentioned in the annual report that you know in the mail express part you are currently servicing around 440 uh, on board and uh, 700 to through tsv train side vending uh, so total you are servicing around 1200 kind of uh, number in mail express now if i look at uh, you know railway board numbers uh, on fy23 the daily average train running that is mail express was around 4000 and we were serving around 1200 as of fy24 so that is roughly 28% of the total market that we can serve so is my understanding correct that right? right now there is very big room for us to you know grow from 1200 uh, mail express train to which we are catering to around let's say 4000 at peak capacity a uh, very good question deepak may i know from which city you are talking or where do you stay uh so chennai chennai so you must be aware that there are suburban trains running on to chennai and quite in large number at mumbai in chennai and in uh, uh, kolkata delhi all the metros so all these trains are not our customers particularly mail express kind of thing so if you see the number of trains mail express trains which are running for more than 12 hours they are which are not overnight trains because every passenger who comes to take a train overnight train they don't require services of railway or catering or from irctc they only at most take the mineral water pdw uh, you can say rail lease so uh, 
so so we have to i for trains which are running for more than 12 hours and day trains so uh, they, those are our target group okay. and okay. accordingly uh, we are serving them and so that number would be how much means uh, that 12 already, is that already that already we have uh, given na 440 and uh, 702 i will give you the exact number will be sent to you no problem okay it got it is, uh, it is uh, 440 and 702 okay uh, no sir i am saying our means total is 4000 but as you explained you know our total addressable uh, trains is not 4000 for to be to be specific 1259 as on date 1259 train including prepaid trains we are running services of irc okay sir and so one last question i had um so sir last time you know uh, indian railways uh, they took a food tariff hike in uh, 2019 prior to that it was 2013 so taking precedence from the past uh, every 6 or 7 years there is a food tariff hike which comes so assuming let's say if it does comes in 2025 or 26 okay um, how would our catering revenue growth trajectory change let's say for example for fy24 to 27 if we were hypothetically building in let's say 15% cagr in catering revenue growth with this tariff hike how can the growth trajectory change for catering revenue will it be 15 plus 5% or how would that change you see uh, generally uh, uh, these are all hypothetical questions when we say increase in the rate it is always uh, lagging behind in cost recovery so uh, to my mind our profit will in the average of that ratio only between uh, rubbing around uh, 14 to 20% only okay okay uh thank you sir that was it from my side thanks a lot oh, thank thank you we may remind all the participants that you may press star and one to ask a question the next question is from the line of madhu chanda de from mc pro please go ahead yeah i have uh, one housekeeping question uh, if you could give me the breakup between uh, the convenience and the non convenience fees for internet ticketing for the quarter i have one more question hello ah just a moment we have a convenience fee in quarter 25 125 is 224 crores and non convenience fee is 224 convenience crore is a convenience fee and 105 crore is non convenience fee and uh, there there uh, the, uh, the non convenience fee was lower you had mentioned something if you could just come back again on that no no convenience fee is 224 crore yeah i got that okay. sir but mm-hmm. you mentioned you, you mentioned uh, yeah uh, can you uh, can you, can you hear me can you hear me uh, yeah sure yeah yeah sure madhu please yeah so uh, you mentioned something uh, in your opening remark that uh, some uh, 12 crore reduction in non convenience fee if you could explain that a little bit please i missed that point no you... actually i have uh, if you compare q1 24 to q1 25 mm-hmm. as against 90 uh, 198 crore of uh, convenience fee revenue we have earned in q1 25 to 24 crore okay. similarly in q1 24 we Uh, earned 92 crore as non convenience fee which has increased to 105 crore in q1 25 okay and the uh, number of tickets you, just just a moment madhu if you compare our q4 of um, 24 with q1 25 
there is a slight dip in non convenience fee from 118 crore it is showing 1.05 crore this in this 118 crore we have one type of one time exceptional earning of 12 crore from social media advertisement which happened in the month of march because of um, uh, declaration of elections okay got it got it yeah yeah thank you very much okay uh, so that was there in uh, 12 crore was there in uh, q4 which is not there in q1 got that point uh, if you could just share the numbers of tickets uh, sold in the quarter yeah uh, you want daily daily um, uh, average or you want complete no i want the full for q q1 i mean the total cumulative five is 11.81 crore 11.81 crore for uh, q1 uh, 25 as against q124 10.43 crore okay thank you very much sir and my last question is uh, of course because of the very bad summer uh, the rail news business has done well uh, extremely well uh, so what was the capacity utilization for rail news yeah i i am very happy to say that it increased from 73% to 86% and that too when we added three more plants okay so in terms of physical capacity where does it stand now as the physical capacity we have 17.68 lakh of uh, bottles per day and average of this quarter which we were producing is 14 plus 14 lakh plus per day as against 12.5 point uh, lakh per, per day last year last year q1 and uh, any uh, uh, any more plans of capacity addition in the next couple of years yeah, one, or one, one one plant of 72000 bottles per day is getting uh, commissioned in vijayawada hopefully in the month of october will be able to do hopefully okay okay got it got it uh, thanks a lot uh, all the best uh, ma'am one one question from this side yes hello this is not only the summer it is a it is your organization and the people behind that they have done marvelous job that's why we could ca- capture this much business thank you very much thank you thank you very much the next question is from the line of mohit jain from tara capital partners please go ahead yeah hi good morning uh, so my question is on catering segment the margins there have been pretty volatile quarter uh, 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 you know over quarter uh can you tell us can you help us uh, with a steady state margin for this business uh, uh, i think you mentioned 14 to 20% as a band which is pretty wide so what will cause uh, such a big uh, you know volatility in the catering margin and secondly uh, there were some pending uh, uh, cases i think regarding previous tariff uh, hike that was going on what is the status for those of them thank you uh, so far as first question is concerned one hypothetical question was raised by someone so i made a hypothetical reply that it may range from 14 to 20% if everything improve as per the uh, hypothetical question was asked generally it it it, it, it is varying between 12 to 15% depending upon which kind of services are introduced in higher number and as we understand as the government and railway as i understand are coming with more number of vande bharat type of trains so we have a better chance of getting that business of prepaid and premium trains where we can in absolute term we can earn more and grow more thanks second question i just missed your second question what's your question no my second question was regarding the pending cases regarding previous tariff hike uh, some of them if i remember correctly were were still to be decided and were sub judice what is the status of them you see the the any matter which is sub judice no comment should be made this is what we have learned so i will not make any comment thank you understood and uh, uh, just coming back to my first question Uh, there is significant volatility quarter over quarter in the catering segment uh, can you help us understand what drives this quarterly uh, you know volatility in the catering margins yeah you you see we are in seasonal business 
so not only catering margin if you see my all segments you will you will find a pattern pattern is depending upon season suppose in the uh, last quarter january to march you are booking a ticket for say uh, june um, um, uh, may june july where your term, uh, summer holidays are there so if you see the pattern in the uh, in the it side you will find that uh, revenue is good whereas in catering side the revenue will go in the uh, june june quarter so that's how it happens Uh, it's a cyclical. It's a signal business, you can say. If you see, you will find a pattern. If you want, I can draw and send it to you also. No, fair enough. Uh, that's it from my side. Thank you. All the best. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Jyoti Singh from Aryan Capital Markets Limited. Please go ahead. Uh, Miss his name. Oh, what's his name? Miss Jyoti yeah. Singh. uh yeah thank you for the opportunity so two question from my side what is the capex guidance for the fy25 we are targeting for the rail need plant and uh, second is what kind of growth and margin we are earning from from the devotional trip train that we plan for the uh, 11 days or 12 days uh for the specific location uh, so on that sir so uh, uh, we uh, so far as rail line is concerned uh, we we have uh, already planned uh, additional capacity with a bala plant is coming and then we have we are identify in the process of identifying two three more plants and uh, we have not yet decided the model if we go for departmental model certainly uh, the uh, kya naam hai uh, investment capex will be more so so this is regarding rail need we have we have well, almost we have uh, um, uh, under process of finalization the final stage in mysore and varanasi but um, uh, not yet decided the model that we are discussing and uh, taking the feasibility report in your second question is the devotional trip you see our our what is our usp uh, we have two usp one is we are um uh, fit to take mass tourism and second is we are known for running train uh, ma- ma- tourist packages uh, in a most reasonable price price range so we are not looking of imp- uh, matlab increasing the uh, margin per se but volume will uh, add to our margin in absolute term so uh, devotional trip we have two kinds of uh, devotional trips one which we get from state government which we say that is state built and the other is vande bharat trains uh, sorry bharat gaurav trains where we design a product and sell in the market to a general market and uh, get the booking so in the first kind the margin is uh, good and um, uh, which compensate the it is around 20% and uh, in the second category it is 9 to 11% thank you thank you thank you sir and sir just last question on the overall growth and margin side what are the targets the target means uh, the coming year yes sir so uh, you, you see we are already if you see our cagr our growth is 17.3% over 5 years and if you see our um, uh, cagr of margin that is net profit is going 21% cagr so hopefully we'll try to uh, uh, do uh, if not better than equal thank you very much thank you sir thank you before we take the next question we would like to remind participants that you may press star and one to ask a question the next question is from the line of vivek rati please go ahead hello sir hi thanks for giving me opportunity to ask the question uh, uh you mentioned that uh, if i got it right uh, uh, during the initial part of the discussion that to to there are 1 to 2019 trains which we are catering to that's our customer right 
so any 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 probable more uh, more things which we can uh, which we which we which will be able to solve because uh, you mentioned that overnight trains are not really our customers that's a problem but apart from that are we looking uh, what are we looking at a uh, probable market let's say where we going to solve it because it looks like catering is coming out to be the dominant area hello uh, it's a very good and pertinent question and uh, Uh, if you, I, I missed your name, please. It's Vivek Rathi, sir. Ah, Vivek, you see how India is moving, and how the railway is moving. The, if we see that, we get our answer. First is, economy is booming. Secondly, the DRC is coming and uh, sparing the line capacity. normal train running in the existing infrastructure and thirdly government is consistently investing into the infrastructure of railways this year also they have planned to invest 2.6 lakh crores so when everything which is indicating is towards adding more and more and more number of trains and with the vande bharat technology being used and being populated demand from everywhere is to run more and more trains vande bharat trains and this will certainly add to the business in which iftc is in so i find that i can't you give i can't give you number right now but i can only give you a uh, good hope thank you regarding your Uh, second question catering we are besides the normal catering business we have also come into e catering and on our e catering platform we have more than 19 aggregators including zomato and uh, swiggy and uh, i am happy to inform you that in that business also we have grew both in terms of meals booked and the revenue earned if you see the comparison of quarter 1 24 with quarter 1 of 25 there is an increase of around 35% in average meals per day booked and 40.1% 9% Is a really growth uh, on Q to Q basis. So this will certainly uh, give us a good business. Thank you. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, one uh, one last follow up question, sir. Uh, as uh, as the participant mentioned before, this that uh, 2019 was the last time we increased the catering prices. So any plans of increasing the prices over next uh, next few months or year? you see this is decided by railway board ministry of railway so as the trend is there we can only uh, hope but we can't give any uh, confirm assurance okay thank you sir thank you thank you thank you a reminder to all the participants that you may press star and one to ask a question we will wait for a moment all the question queue symbols the next question is from the line of kanchan mangaukar from anvil research please go ahead Kanchan, your line is unmuted. You may go ahead with your question. Kanchan, your line is unmuted. Oh, sorry. Ah, uh, so am I audible now? Yes, you are audible. So my question is uh, regarding the number of trains. Ah, uh, can you please share the breakup of the ah one two five nine trains? That is prepaid. How much was how much was uh, non prepaid and uh, DHC? Ah, uh, sure, Kanchan. 
is 117 prepaid train, 440 mail express train, and uh, 702 mail express where we run TSP. Mail express uh, 440 with pantry. Okay. So it's 12.59. Okay, thank you. That's it. Uh, thank you. Thank you for the answer. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Your question is answered, right? Yes. Again, a reminder. Participants who wish to ask questions, please press star N1 on your phone. So there are no more questions. There's a question. The next question is from the line of Deepak from Sundram Mutual Sundram Mutual Fund. Please go ahead. Deepak, your line is on speaking mode. Please go ahead with your question. Yeah, am I audible now? Yes, sir, you are Yes, yes, Deepak. Yeah, sir, I had one more question regarding, uh, you know, non-convenience fee revenue portion. Means, let's say if I want to take a uh, two to three year view of where that revenue can be and what are the steps are we taking to grow that non-convenience fee revenue within the internet ticketing segment? You, you see, exact number I can't share even if I like. But if you see the past, 91 crore has increased to 105 crores. And uh, we are trying our best to uh, like um, improve this further. Because as you add the numbers of tickets, which is happening, so the interest of uh, uh, like your uh, customers, your bankers and advisors uh, uh, improves. So I'm very hopeful. Thank you very much. Does that answer your question? Yeah, it answers my question. Thanks. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Kanchan Man Gaokar from Annual Research. Please go ahead. Yeah, sorry for the follow up. Hello? Yes, yes, please. So, uh, you shared the breakup for this quarter. Can you please share the uh, breakup for last year as well? For Q124. We will share you okay. separately. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Vivek Rati, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Hello, hi. Uh, thanks for allowing me again. Uh, sir, uh, you mentioned there were around, uh, around 11 crore tickets booked this quarter. I forgot it right. So, can we get the uh, revenue we generated out of this ticket and then uh, per ticket out of the revenue? You want to know uh, um, uh, the revenue for 11.81 crore ticket which we have booked? It's 225. I mean, yeah. Okay, thank you, sir. Thanks. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Ashish, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Uh, hi, good morning, sir. Uh, my question is Am I audible? Yes, yes, Ashish. Very glad to talk to you. Uh, my question is regarding uh, the plans to grow the uh, ticketing business for flights, buses, uh, and of course, uh, hotels as well. So would the company be planning to grow uh, revenues and business from these uh, uh, ticketing places? Uh, thank you for a good question. You see, uh, there is an ample scope of uh, giving flight services, hotel services to our reserve passengers. So uh, from here we can only grow that much I can tell you. And we have certain plans to do it which we can't share at the moment. But let it happen, you will know. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Stuti from Prabhudas Leela Dev. Please go ahead. Yeah, hi, sir. Just wanted to know the share of UPI uh, transactions for the quarter. 
is 45 percent. Last term it was 37 percent. Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Ratan Joneja from Co Value Technology Travel Limited. Please go ahead. Hi. Uh, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, I'd like to know what is the revenue from uh, Vande Bharat trains this quarter. And my second question is, um, when do we plan to increase or bring at parity the UPI ticketing fees? So, uh, to my knowledge, we can give you separate figure also, but uh, to my knowledge, information at the moment, 48 crore is the revenue in this quarter from Bande Bharat train. And so far as UPI is concerned, uh, sorry, 12 crore is the figure for Bande Bharat train in this quarter. And uh, this uh, exact figure will share with you. And uh, the second question which you wanted to know about the charges on UPI? Yes, when do we bring it at parity? Oh, what, what are you interested in? Should sure. we improve the revenue or should we revenue the, uh, improve the charges? No, we should. Uh, my question is. What should we that, do? <laughs> yeah, so uh, others are, uh, are charged 30 rupees. In UPI, you are charging 20 rupees. So my question is that when do you, when are you planning? Now it is already at 45 percent. When do you plan to? Very, to very good question, Ratan. Let me uh, tell you. When we were working with the UPI, not giving this concession, we were earning only 78 um, uh, percent of the business. Now we are doing 83 percent of the business of railway. And with UPI there, we are expected to grow further. So what do you suggest? What should the management should do? So this is a 50% rise from 20 to 30. No, no. You see, in absolute term, we are going just because UPI has permitted all the customers which were otherwise not coming to us. They are now booking tickets with us. The, the total number enhanced from 78% to 83%, and which is which, which uh, with further go of UPI numbers will uh, likely to go it further. So management has taken a call that to keep it like this and earn in the uh, absolute number and volume. Thank you very much. All right. I hope that answer your question. The next question is from the line of Rahul Jain from Dolat Capital. Please go ahead. Mr. Rahul, your line is on unmute. You may go ahead with your question. Mr. Rahul, please go ahead with your question. Hello. Yes, sir, you're audible. Please yeah, I'm audible. Yeah. Okay, thanks for the opportunity. Uh, I just wanted to ask you, Right. Uh, are we having any thought processes on price hike uh, in the rail meal bottle, which is unchanged for like more than 12 years? Okay. Yeah. Uh, we, you see, our USP is uh, selling uh, affordable water to the railway passengers. If we don't do that, then we'll have to face competition with all of the brands. So then uh, ultimately we'll lose. So what we are trying to expand our capacity, Make an efficient plant running. Utilization should improve. So 73% to 86% or 87% utilization we have already brought. We are increasing our capacity. And we want to sell at 15 only. Thank you very much. Okay, okay. So uh, that, that answers my question. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Vivek Rati, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Okay. Uh, sorry, thanks again. So on the community, I wanted to ask, uh, are, are we expecting any changes or this will continue as well? I mean, uh, for, uh, even with this Bande Bharat and number of things exploding, I mean, increasing, you're not expecting any changes? No, it's irrespective of trains already fixed uh, per class, AC and non-AC. That is continuing. Okay. okay, thank you. Thank you.
Thank you. As there are no further questions, I would now like to hand the conference over to the management for closing comments. Okay. Uh, thank you, all our uh, partners. Uh, I am Ravi Kumar, uh, the Director of Catering Services, IRCTC. Thank you all for showing so much keenness and interest in the um, working of this company, of your company, and asking very pertinent questions. Uh, which will help all, not only us to perform much more better, and also the other shareholders to come into the um, interest into more interest into IRCTC. Thanks a lot for sparing all your uh, time and energy, and uh, we hope your continued support will take us to the next level. We will continue to grow and uh, make this come make our company, which you are part of it, in, to the higher level. Thank you, one and all. On behalf of the management. Thank you. On behalf of Dolat Capital, that concludes this conference. Thank you for joining us, and you may now disconnect your lines.